this is a bedroom modeling tutorial and in, in this lesson I will show you how to model a cabinet for the beddings, uh, pillows, also a place to sit on it. I will copy some books from the living room and also create a, a window cover and blind and copy to this room. Uh, well, firstly I've erased everything what was in this zone. You can see on the left things is a lamp. I'm going to adjust them and uh, and fit on the uh, cabinets near the bed. Also left some pictures to copy and box. So firstly let's create a cabinet with drawers to put some beddings and pillows in it. Firstly select these two faces, make a group and extrude this face by pushing Ctrl on your keyboard for 400 millimeters. It's it will be enough to sit. It's about 700 millimeters. So delete the spaces and um, divide the space into three segments. Create two lines and also create. Uh, this line, tell it for 32 and create a horizontal line. Also we can now delete these uh, lines and using offset tool type in 1, 1 and 1 again. We can now push these faces by 18 millimeters. Let's type 18. 18. And this face also to 18. And grab uh, the drawers, facades, and um, using 3.6 millimeters and six segments round the edges. Sorry. Uh, so round the edges and also round the edge of the top and let's see it one millimeter and three segments well let it be a one millimeter in this case and six segments okay now let's create uh, a uh, by the way uh, with these drawers uh, do not have handles because there are systems when you can push and it automatically opens and now let's create a pillow to sit on it so it's a simple rectangle make a group and open it now let's make a color white and divide this face okay six segments is okay and with line tool let's cut it also cut it not only uh, vertically but also horizontally using a uh, midpoints it's good let's select everything click on the line three times and rotate it also grab the middle point and move it. Now select everything again and move all the face to the corner. Well it's too much. I go back and grab this corner. Let's adjust them and well make we are making a sculpting now with SketchUp tools. So grab something about a half of the faces and lift them let's say it five millimeters deselect some faces and grab and lift up the left ones by again five millimeters and do some adjustments I am only grabbing and lifting up the corners. 
and then after we are done we are going to use a subdivide and smooth tool well firstly maybe a uh, joint push pull tool to extrude the faces it's good now well let's lift up this face more it's getting better now yeah it's done now so let's select everything and use joint push pull tool type in 13 millimeters two times enter and it's okay now well uh, maybe we should fix uh, this corner so go back uh, lift up this corner and down this one lift up this and uh, this it's better now let's add some joint push pull 13 millimeters enter and enter again now everything selected and subdivide selection and again to subdivide and smooth and two iterations click OK so our pillow is finished it looks quite realistical and well let's uh, model now a blinds window co cover so create a circle and type in 35 millimeters we don't need uh, much segments so leave the default value and make a group well maybe let's move this circle for about 13 millimeters and just now extrude it also leave some space like uh, I've done now copy two lines 13 millimeters and 5 millimeters do the same thing in this side 30 millimeters and 5 millimeters let's erase and close the faces I showed you this way and now it's a second time but well now uh, connect the faces and do the same thing in this side close the faces use offset tool and join and join them erase the line offset tool and join now only select the edges and we are going to round them you see we need the more so let's type in two and three segments and we only left create a handle for it so after processing and is done we will create it well it's okay now create a simple rectangle on the wall make it thinner select on the lines and also a, a cylinder and make a group and open it we have some lines down there so let's grab them select everything grab them and position in this face 
it's okay only let's create some arc delete these lines and we'll create another arc much bigger it's good and now using pipe along path tool we are going to create a pipe over this face over these lines select everything and plugins pipe along path let's type in 3 millimeters 0 and 12 segments it's done now it's it looks okay so we have created a cabinet with drawers for storage of beddings also a pillow blinds a window cover so let's create let's uh, copy some uh, books from the living room I left them in case I can copy them not model again yes copy them also maybe we could scale them they are far away too big place them firstly and now we can scale them it's good now also let's uh, uh, copy some pictures and the free ones is okay so grab a corner copy and place them on this wall also you can copy uh, this uh, blind on the windows in living room and dining room zones or if you uh, want them in the different scene you can make a component and uh, click save as and uh, choose a direct directory in which you want to save an skp file and then you just can grab a file and import into the model you want. So this was a first tutorial of modeling a bed bed bedroom. See you on the next lesson.